92.5. Rook and Jubal's second date update. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this time, we do the second date updates. You go out on a date and someone doesn't call you back. Let us call them for you and help solve all of your problems <laughs> or create new ones. We've got Hannah on the phone right now. Hannah emailed us about a date she went on with a guy named Pete. Hannah, how are you? I'm good. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Hey, good. what's up? Tell hey. us about Pete. Tell us about your date. Tell us about how it all went. <laughs> I think it was a really, really good date. We went out to dinner downtown. All right. We had a really good conversation. He was such a gentleman. And okay. then we went to go watch a movie. All right. That's a long date. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it, it, it just was going really, really well. And then afterwards, we went back to his place. Okay. And we kind of had a nightcap. We, <laughs> yeah. you know. And by nightcap, <laughs> do you mean? We got intimate. All right. Yeah. Yes. Woo-hoo. Nice. It, good to hear it. it. So what happened when you guys were done? Did you leave right after? Did you leave in the morning? How'd that work? Well, he cooked me breakfast. And Ooh. then, I mean, just. It was just so, like, he gave me a long, passionate kiss goodbye. And he's like, I can't wait to see you again. So I'm thinking, this is probably the best date I've ever had. Nice. Yeah. And ever since then, nothing. Really? Like, he cooked you breakfast and hasn't called you back. No, but then why? I just, I'm so confused. Okay. I'm hmm. confused, too. Have you tried to get a hold of him? I mean, I texted him once to be like, okay. hey, how are you? You know, just a few days later, just because I don't want to look like a crazy stalker. Jubal, if you hooked up with a girl on a first date Mm -hmm. and you didn't like her, you wouldn't cook her breakfast, would you? Probably not, no. I'd probably try to figure out a way to get her out of there as quickly as possible. Right, you had a business meeting, you had to go to work. If I made breakfast, it would be a trail of bacon from the bed to her car (laughs) to get her out of there. So, I mean, it seems like he liked you. (laughs) I like the trail of bacon idea. (laughs) I like the kind of girls you go for, Jubal. Um... Okay, Hannah, so so we're going to call him and find out why he didn't get back to you. And you can't think of anything. I honestly, I thought the night went so great. We had such good chemistry. I mean, I honestly am clueless. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to call him right after this and see if we can get your answer, okay? Thanks, guys. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. Second date update. All right, we've got Hannah on the phone right now. Hannah went out on a date with a guy named Pete that she really liked. They ended up hooking up. The next morning, he made her breakfast and kissed her goodbye, and she hasn't heard back from him. Hannah, are you ready to call Pete? And Yes. Wow. All right. <laughs> yeah. You are ready. I just want to know. I just want to know. That's all. <laughs> how, how did you meet Pete, Hannah? I have a friend of a friend. He's single. He's cute. So it's kind of like a blind date hookup. Cute. Hey, I was looking for Pete. Yeah, this is Pete. Pete, what's up, dude? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm moving 92.5. How are you? Um, I'm good. Why are you calling? Uh, <laughs> I want to talk to you about a mutual friend that you and I have. Okay. It's a girl named Hannah. Why are you calling me about Hannah? Well, I know that you went on a date with Hannah and you guys hooked up and the next morning you made her breakfast and everything seemed cool and, and haven't called her. So I was calling kind of on Hannah's behalf to ask why I haven't gotten back to her. Is this on air right now? Is this on the radio right now? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Sorry. No, no, no. no. Hey, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Pete, Pete. One second, dude. Please don't hang up. <laughs> All right. Call him again? Try to call him back, yeah. Uh-oh, Dude, Hannah, what did you do? <laughs> Does not want to talk about Hannah. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can get him back. This is an inappropriate man. Look, don't hang up. Don't hang up. No, no, no. It's bullshit. You shouldn't be asking me about my private life here. It's bullshit. Okay. Get well, me off the air. Hey, hang on a second, Pete. What is this? Okay. Uh, producer boy just handed me a piece of paper. That's true? Really? Yeah. Um, apparently, Pete, our producer went to your Facebook, and it says you are engaged. <gasps> what? You're joking. Is this for, is this for real? Pete, oh, are, oh, oh, oh. Pete, are you engaged, dude? He hung up. I heard it is click. He I think he hung up. Hey. Are you joking? <laughs> wow. Um, that was weird. All right, we're going we're gonna to stop for a second and try to sort this out. I think we need to figure out if this is really true or not.
Okay, so we got an update. A few minutes ago during the second date update, we were calling Pete to find out why he wasn't calling Hannah back. He hung up on us when we first got him on the phone, so producer Boyd went to his Facebook page to try to get like, like another contact for him, a phone number or something, and found out through Pete's Facebook that he was actually engaged. And apparently, producer Boyd then messaged his fiance, and he's telling me that she's on the phone right now. Is she really on the phone right now? She's online. Is uh, is this Jessica? Yeah. Do yeah. you have a uh, fiance named Pete? Do I have a fiance named Pete? Yeah. I don't want to do this. Uh, this is Jubal from Rook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm moving 92.5. Um, can you describe Pete for me? <laughs> yeah. He's my fiance. We've been together for a while we're getting married in the summer he's okay is there really great and um I, just to like why are you asking me this, this is how long have you been together well we've been engaged for about a year a little over a year a year together. hang on Slow down. hang on hannah let's make sure this is the right dude all right who is this this is brooke and jubal in the morning i'm moving 92.5 Hannah's on the phone with us. Hannah emailed us about a guy that she went out with and hooked up with who wouldn't call her back after they, you know, had a night of fun. That guy is your fiance. Is this a joke? No. Are you kidding me? That's not possible. Um, is there any way you've been out of town over the weekends? Yeah. When did this happen, Hannah? On Friday night. Okay. Were you with Pete on Friday night? No, and he... Oh, my God. I know, honey. And he didn't answer my phone calls or my texts on Friday. And are you... Is, are you got? Is this... It's not okay, a joke. Okay, Jessica, so you... Where did Pete tell you he was on Friday night? He said he had to work late. Okay, and he didn't answer And he you. wouldn't answer any of my texts or anything, and... I, Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Hannah, tell Jessica about what you did Friday night. I'm really sorry. I honestly had no idea this guy was engaged. I thought he was just a great guy, and we went on a date. We went back to You went on place. a date? Like a prearranged date? What? <laughs> you? <laughs> I'm trying very hard to give him the benefit of the doubt and not freak out right now. What's Pete's last name? Jessica, what's Pete's last name? We'll beep it out. I'm a Hannah, what's the guy's last name that you went out with? I'm a oh. Are you kidding me? Have you guys had any problems with cheating before in your No. Not that I'm aware of. Hannah, how did you how did you meet Pete again? Just through a mutual acquaintance. Mutual acquaintance. Who? Who? This guy Charles. Jessica, is Charles a friend of uh, Pete's that you know? Yeah, he's a friend of Pete's. Okay. He's a friend of Pete's that I don't get along with. This is just unbelievably... This is... We tried How to call... did you go out on a date? Are you saying you were at a party? Or are you? I don't understand what you're saying to me. Jessica, I would tell you to not get mad at Hannah, because it sounds like Hannah legitimately didn't know that he had a fiancé, so it's... I'm, it's... Well, I'm sorry. I don't know who I'm mad at right now. I'm just in shock, okay? So cut me some black hair, because... You were in my house, Hannah. P.S. You can be as mad. You were in wait, my house. Wait, 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 Jessica, you live there? Wait, but yeah. you live there? But I, there was no pictures of any girls in that house. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you okay, honey? No, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm engaged. I'm not okay at all. <sighs> oh, that makes my heart hurt. I feel so... <laughs> We tried to get Pete on the phone, Jessica, to talk about why he wasn't calling Hannah back, and he got angry and hung up on us, obviously, because he has a fiancé. I'm sorry you had to hear about it this way. I am, too. Hey, uh, hey Jessica, we're going to give you just a second to compose yourself, okay? And, and then we're going to talk to you a little more, all right? Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to put you on for one second. Okay. All right, this is the third segment of the second date update today because obviously things got a little serious hannah went out with a guy named peter they hooked up we tried to get him on the phone he got mad and hung up on us and then we found out that he actually had a fiance jessica how are you doing 
Oh, yeah, I'm um, okay. Um, <laughs> Have you flushed your engagement ring down the toilet yet? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Have you suspected him of cheating before or anything else? I've had my moments of worrying about that a little bit, but I've always told myself to take the high road and not uh, Mm -hmm. be accusatory. Yeah. And to trust the commitment that we've made to each other. Which you should be able to. What is your plan, Jessica, for confronting Pete? I don't know yet. I, I don't, I just, (laughs) I don't know. I, I am, my blood is boiling though right now. And I am, I don't know if I am going to pack my stuff and just get out of here or I'm just going <laughs> to. Jessica, Jessica, I'm going to tell you from a guy's point of view who has been caught cheating when he's been living with girls that he's been with. Just walk away. Like, honestly, that's the best way to do it for both you guys, because you leave, you can find someone else who's not going to cheat on you. And if you don't leave, then you're always going to have that doubt. You're always going to be on his case. It's not going to be a good relationship on either side. So no matter what, now that you know this, my advice to you would be just to go there when he's not there, get your stuff. Don't even give him the satisfaction of a conversation about it. Because all he's going to do is lie about it. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, how many yeah. times have you been honest, Jubal, when you had gotten caught in cheating? I am never honest. So. Yeah. <laughs> so Jessica, that's what I would tell you to do, okay? Thank you. I mean, I, I guess. I'm glad I'm finding this out. I'm not at all, but... uh, Hey, it's better to know now than to have to get a divorce, right? And let me tell you, we threw one badass unbachelorette party in Vegas after my girlfriend broke up with her second fiancé, and (laughs) it was way more fun. Hey, Jessica, will you stay in touch with us just to let us know how you're doing and how everything wraps up? Yeah. yeah. All right. You're going to be okay. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. I know it sucks right now, but it's not. All right. <laughs> There's plenty of guys like me out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not hope. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. It's the opposite. Uh, all right. Keep in touch with us, okay? All right. Thanks.